Hi guys, welcome to a new episode of the Fashion Cafe. I know, it's been a really long time and I missed you. So my life has just been like really, really insane and crazy for the last couple of weeks and I thought that it would be necessary for me to take some time off, figure everything out and finish all my traveling because if you follow me on Twitter and on Instagram, you know that I've been doing a heck of a lot of traveling. You can catch up on all that down below. Um, but yeah, I have some news for you guys. I got a new office downtown LA, which I'm really really excited about um, I asked you guys on Twitter what we should name it and you said unicorn headquarters So welcome to the first video from the unicorn headquarters and it's actually super echoey in here. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome So I was talking to my friend Kalel the other day. She was like Evelina you are such an idiot in real life which is in like the best complimentary way possible like i'm kind of a goofball idiot like i'm always like saying things that are silly and i'm just always acting silly and then she was like your personality does not translate on camera like you don't really show that side of you that much because what i do is what i take these notes for you guys and i'm trying to be all professional and talking about fashion and like being all passionate which is good but I feel like I should just like relax more, you know, like just kind of like talk to you guys, like is that okay? <laughs> so today I decided to kick off the new fashion cafe era, which by the way, I'm going to start uploading it every Friday. I just want to talk to you about confidence because I feel like that's such a subject that is really important to me and I was at VidCon uh, yesterday I did a panel and I do a lot of these panels like BeautyCon, VidCon and you guys come and you ask all these great questions and I always talk about confidence and being a boss and owning it and all of that stuff but I don't talk about it that much on my channel so I thought why not just you know make a little video about it so to give you a little bit of a preface on my life and how I came to be the person that I am today um, I was born in Russia, grew up in Moldova with a par two parents, no siblings, and uh, I did a lot as a kid, you know, it's kind of like they say that in Asian families it's like that, where you take piano lessons, math lessons, dance lessons, and like you have to get all straight A's and it's never good enough for your parents. Russian parents are just like that, um, so I just remember growing up doing all of this stuff, trying so hard to be good at everything, which I sucked at a lot of things. Um, but I was just like, you know, my dad would be watching TV and there's just like this some genius kid playing the violin like doing all these things and he's like, look at that kid, look at them and look at you, you're just sitting here like never reading a book, pick up a book, you're not in it. I mean, dad, if you're watching this, I love you, should not have said that. So yeah, so then I would just be like, oh great, you know, like look at all these little kids, they're so amazing and here I am, I'm such a loser. I had a, a pretty tough teenagehood, I guess, kind of figuring myself out and figuring reasons for why I should be confident. Um, but to be honest, right now, I'm at a stage in my life where I'm just like, I don't even care. You can tell me whatever you wanna tell me, I'm confident. I have to be, I have no choice. It doesn't matter how pretty you look, and it doesn't matter what you have, it doesn't matter where you live, it doesn't matter where you come from, you are you, and nobody can take that away from you. To elaborate on that, basically when I look at myself in the mirror, and, um, all I can say is that maybe my hair doesn't look that good that day. Maybe, you know, I said something really stupid to my friends the other day and they're like, oh my god, I'm never hanging out with Evelina again. Maybe that happened. But at the end of the day, I'm still Evelina and I still have these qualities about me. You know, like I'm crazy, I'm spontaneous, I'm goofy, I'm hardworking. Whatever it is that these qualities are about me, I have them and nobody is ever going to be able to take that away from me. So despite of like how I might feel that day, knowing who I am, knowing that I am Evelina, this is who I am, nobody can take that away from me, I can just be myself and everything's going to be fine is what gives me confidence at the end of the day. Do I get hate on YouTube? Absolutely. Sometimes I read my Instagram comments and I'm just like, Today, I'm just gonna go take a walk and then a homeless man stops me on the street. By the way, this did happen the other day. I was uh, downtown LA getting some coffee. This homeless man comes up to me, which, oh my God, he's like asking me for something. I was like, I'm sorry, like I can't really, you know, I can't really talk today. And then he was like, nobody loves you. And I was already having a kind of a bad day and I'm like, okay. So that happens all the time, but you know what I will tell you? is no matter what people tell you, you know, and you, I'll read stuff, ah, oh, you're so ugly, like, oh, you're, like, short, like, whatever people can tell you. You are the decider of who you think you are. They don't decide. They can be like, oh, you're ugly? Well, ups, I decided I'm not, so, excuse me. So it's like, no matter what people will tell you and what you come across, knowing yourself, accepting yourself, 
will always be that core where your confidence is coming from. And also, don't ever put your confidence or your self-worth in somebody else's hands. It's kind of like giving the key to your door of happiness to someone else because, um, you know, if somebody doesn't see your worth, it doesn't mean that it's not there. They just don't see it. And it's as simple as that. It took me years and years to realize that where, you know, I'd be friends with people and like put so much in that friendship and invest so much of my time and buy them gifts and do all this. And then at the end of the day, they don't even, you know, call me to wish me a happy birthday or whatever that would be. And I would just feel so down, be like, what is wrong with me? Like, what did I not do? It's not you, it's, <laughs> okay, so it's not you, it's them. No, seriously, if somebody does not see the worth in you, it does not diminish your worth. It's just that they don't see it. So know who you are. Spend some time getting to know yourself write down the good qualities that you have about you and please don't write me in the comments oh I don't have any good qualities yes you do um, you are right now using a computer look at you being smart and stuff that's one of them I love how anytime something sassy comes out I hold on to my hat that's like my to go thing to do today um, I, I really missed you I am going to be doing more of these just talking videos um, just so you know, like I love you and I appreciate you so much and um, yeah, leave me your comments down below. I will be doing more personality, more silly, stupid videos. I'm also going to be doing more fashion, like styling and like a bunch of other stuff. So yeah, I love you guys so much. Keep up with me on Twitter. It's all down below. I always answer to you, beautiful unicorns. I love you. Bye! Wait, that wasn't cute enough. Bye! <laughs>